Hey, what's happening guys? Today I want to show you something that I kind of thought everybody knew about, but talking to a couple of my local ham friends, they've never heard of it. And it is called Web SDR. So that's all you need to put in is WebSDR.org, and it will take you to this page, which lists all of these um, uh, software-defined radio receivers all over the world so if you want to hear what's going on over there you can pick on one of them and have a listen not only does it pick up the amateur frequencies of course it also picks up broadcast frequencies and just about everything else so let's, let's go up to the top of this list here and we're going to go to my favorite band the 20 meter band and we're going to go to north america just to start out with and the reason i want to tell you about this Back when I first started into amateur radio in 2017, I got a mentor from the local club in the ham radio. We call that an Elmer. I had an Elmer. My Elmer's name was Les Shields. And uh, when I put my first radio in my old place, it was a uh, Yesu FT891 with a wire vertical antenna. I was having trouble making contact, so I... I asked my mentor, I said, Les, how can I find out, you know, if I'm really getting out? And he told me about this, Web SDR. So, let's take a look at one of these. We're just going to click on one. Okay, here is uh, KFS Web SDR on the Pacific Coast, south of San Francisco. And it tells you over here in the center column what frequencies it covers. And then over here is any information generally about, you know, antennas. So if we click on it, it's going to bring this up. And there's no audio yet. So these are the controls for the radio. This is your spectrum scope. And if you look here, this is uh, 80 meters it's on. Let's go to 20 meters. And 20 meters operates in what's called upper sideband. So we'll put in upper sideband. And now we'll start our audio. Let me turn this down so I don't bother you too much. And if you look up here, this is our little tuning indicator. And we can move it around. We can also click and drag the filter. I know that doesn't sound terribly exciting. Let me find a good one. Hang on one minute. Okay. So we're on the uh, DeLonga, Georgia web SDR that's located in Lumpkin County Middle School. And you can see we're on a frequency of 14.270. You can see the uh, modulation up here. This is our tuning. These are all of our controls down here. So let me get out of here and let's go to Europe. Let's find one in Europe. Uh, I'm not sure where this one is, but we'll hit it and we'll see what happens. All right, so here's a European one. Uh, we are on upper sideband, 20 meters. See if we can't tune in a signal here. Here's another one. We're at 14.147. And if you look up here, you can even see it shows us our filter width. These are very cool. It tells you here that there are uh, 14 people listening. You have control of your speeds, the size. I mean, it's, it's quite beautiful. If you'd rather see a spectrum graph here, you can get a spectrum graph. 
But basically, this allows you to listen to the radio frequencies anywhere on Earth without having to leave the comfort of your own home. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any interest in learning about ham radio or amateur radio, uh, feel free to send me a message and uh, I'll be happy to find a local club near you to hook you up. Alright guys, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed. That's it. I'm out. Peace.